You quite often use DIN rails when you're creating panels. These DIN rails are used to attach things in the panel enclosure and you can set them up very, very quickly and easily. I've created a new drawing again sequentially using DIN rails there. So again, project, right click, add active drawing. This will be 007. So apply the project default values. It'll update. And you'll notice there I need to change the drawing properties purely from the viewpoint that I need to make sure that my numbering is sequential. And as usual, can't stress it enough, always link your drawings to your project. Now, let's have a look at these DIN rails. I go to Schematic and I go to Icon Menu. Now, are there any DIN rails in there? No, because it's part of our panel footprint. So I'll cancel that and go to the Panel tab and this time go to the Icon Menu for the Panel tab and you'll see that we've got DIN rails in there. Be aware of that. When you're creating your panel, you use DIN rails, not your schematic drawing. So DIN rail there. I can select a DIN rail from the list. And as you can see, lots of different ones there. There's a three foot long one there, an AB, or I could go for a meter long. And as you can see, different imperial and metric settings there. I'm going to go for a Newark snap track, that one there. And I'm going to pick the rail information. And what that does is it asks for the insertion point of the rail. So I'll snap to the end of that line I've drawn there. And then it asks for the end point of the rail. I'll go to the other end of the line as well. So the length of that is 25 inches long. And it's going to be obviously horizontal because the line's horizontal and the scale is one to one. Now, in this particular case, obviously, if I've got a metric one that I want to use, let's say on an imperial drawing, I can set the scale one divided by 25.4 and that'll give me the right ratio and scale it accordingly. So those settings are really useful. I can use imperial or metric on any given panel drawing in any given AutoCAD electrical project. Panel mounting will be holes I'm going to go for, and I'm going to click on OK, and there's my DIN rail. Newark catalog, it's all in place, so what I might put there is just DIN rail in the description there. I can obviously add information to this item number. For example, it might be, let's say, DR001, DIN rail 001. And I'll click on OK there, and there's my DIN rail in place. That's how easy it is. I might want to take some wiring from that. So I go from the schematic, and what I can do now is make sure that I use my wire command. Make sure that you're on the right layer. Don't use the zero layer. You want to be on the right layer for that particular drawing. So we'll use wires, and like I've always done before, I then go down to the wires and select the color, and I'm going to make it red. That's purely so it stands out on the drawing for you guys. But what I might do now is zoom in there, and you can see there I can take a wire off of this DIN rail if I want to by going to schematic and then just wire there. If I take that off of there, can you see the snap kicking in nearest? And then it comes off, and I can line that in with, say, here. But what I'll do, I'll take snap and grid off and I'll put O snap on. And then as I hover here, can you see, I can't actually snap to that at all. It's just purely a panel enclosure. So what I might do there is obviously snap that to something on the schematic, or perhaps show where that connects to a different circuit. In this case, as you can see, I'm just dropping things in to show you how they work. I'm not actually building an actual panel here. I'm just showing you how these things work so that you can apply them to the panels that you use in your occupation at work. So that's your DIN rails, and that's how you can see you can pull wiring off of a DIN rail.